Hey guys, Ellie from What's the Quack here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the two songs that Blas Canto has just released as his potential Eurovision entries for Spain 2021. If you do enjoy the video, it would mean a lot to us if you could leave a like and leave a comment down below. Any and all interaction with the video is really, really appreciated and it really, really helps us out. Likewise, if you do enjoy, please consider subscribing. We're nearly at 200 subscribers and it'd really mean a lot to us if you decided to stick around. If you do like Eurovision, then please consider subscribing because we're going to making a ton of Eurovision content. I'm really, really excited to react to these songs because Blas Cantor was one of my favourites last year. He pretty much stayed in my top 10 the entire time, like the whole season he was in my top 10. Uh, I think he ended around my ninth maybe or something like that. But I'm really, really excited to see what he brings this year because I could never categorise Universal. Like, I could never decide if it was a bop or if it was more down a, a sad ballad -y kind of... It was somewhere in between, and I really think that these songs could go either way, so I'm super excited to see what he's doing. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into reacting. I haven't been told anything about any of these songs, like, I genuinely have no idea. So we're going to be starting with, I think... You're going to have to forgive my pronunciation because I do not speak Spanish, but I think it's... Voya Kadame or something like that. We're gonna be starting with this one. I did just Google Translate. I believe it means I will stay or something like that. At the very least, that's what Google Translate translated it as. I'm not sure that is never it's never correct, really, is it? But something along those lines. I have no idea what to expect. I'm just super excited, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. Ballad. Sad male ballad. <laughs> I love his voice. I really love his voice. Oh. Oh, it really is going to be a sad male ballad. The piano's already getting me. Like, even though I can't understand it. Ooh, yes. Ballad, right, chorus. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I love his voice so much. Ooh, what was that? Oh, and the second verse is different to the first. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, all of the instrumentation is, is beautiful. Like, this is so well produced and written. Like, even though I can't understand it, this is like... I can feel it so much in his voice. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is beautiful. Come on, drama. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is actually amazing! Well, I didn't expect you to like it this much! I don't know what to do! Oh, yes, I can just... I feel like he's so... Like, he feels it so much. Oh my god, the... The bridge? <laughs> oh! I honestly... I can't. Oh, there is cl the classic Blaz high note. We had to have it. It actually works in this song, though. Unlike Universal, it actually works in this song. <laughs> oh, his voice is amazing. His voice is just brilliant. That is how you put a high note in a song, Blaz. Thank you. Oh, the end. Oh, that was. Oh, my God. Oh, the end. Wait, they, they just, everything just fell off and it was just piano again and then, then the end. That was incredible. I'm, I'm actually like, <laughs> my heart is racing. Like, I'm actually like, that is, that is honestly breathtaking. The only reason I'm not crying right now is because I'm so excited. I'm like sitting here flapping my arms around. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the only reason I'm not crying. That was, and I cannot stress this enough, amazing. <laughs> that was so so good. The second song is gonna have to do something. I, d I don't even want to think about what the second song would have to do to top that. That was incredible. <laughs> I, I I love that song so- that was so up my alley. That was like everything that I like in songs. That for me, like already, I love that so much more than Universal and I, I really liked Universal. I still listen to Universal. That, 
That was- oh my god. That has like- I already feel like that has like top three for me of like the entire year potential already if that wins. Like right off the bat. Like I am- oh my god. I'm like on a high. That was so good. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> it also looks like there's tears in my eyes. Hats off to whoever wrote that song. I'm not entirely sure like this on the songwriting team for this song in particular, but my god, immaculate. Everything. Like the lyrics, I don't know what they mean, but they all worked, they all fit, nothing seemed out of place. His voice, incredible. The like structure of the song and the composition, amazing. And the instrumentation, please. Oh my god, there were so many instruments in there, like piano obviously there was the violin and like good on them for including the high note as well because he got so much stick for that high note last year and fair enough for good reason because it didn't work it really didn't work but good on them for you know the easy thing to do would have been to just turn around and be like well we just won't put another high note in because we're just going to get stick for it again instead they decided to include a high note and actually do it well this time like oh I, I actually might like I'm that was breathtaking. <laughs> it was genuinely so good. Okay, so his second song that I'm gonna be reacting to is called Memoria. Now I'm still like on a high from the last one, so I don't know what to expect from this. And I feel like I may have set the bar too high. I feel like I'm I might just like this less because I love the person so much, but like I, I genuinely like don't know what is like after that I, I anything could happen right now like the rule book is genuinely out the window now i just i don't even know what to expect so i'm just going to i'm just going to go for it i'm so excited now like i'm i'm so excited okay straight into it with the lyrics this one feels like it might be more like universal less ballady but it might still be a ballad Ooh. I like that guitar. Is that guitar? I don't know what it, whatever it is, I like it. It's like, it's building. It's building. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The beats? Yeah, I, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely more of a bop. Oh, I was gonna say, don't drop, like, don't drop, and he didn't drop, so thank god. <laughs> I was like, if he leads into a drop, now it's ruined. <laughs> I like this. This is the second verse, I'm guessing. I'm having a bit of trouble identifying the chorus, but I think that's just because I don't understand the lyrics. I assume this is the pre-chorus. Ooh, I like that. This could, I feel like he could have so much fun with this song. Like, this song just seems like a lot of fun. Right, so I guess this is the chorus. Yeah, this must be the chorus. He's a bop. It is a bop. It just seems like a happy, a happy bop. And that makes me very happy. <laughs> After the last song, this is what I needed, like, to keep the, the happy energy going. But the last one made me happy because it was so good. This one is just actually making me happy. Like, I'm sure the last one is supposed to be sad, <laughs> but it just made me happy because it was so good. Oh yeah, I like that. I liked that. That little that little drum thing that they did there. Big fan of that. I feel like this one is quite it's safer in its sort of variation. Like it, it doesn't change that much. Like all the choruses have been pretty the same so far. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just an observation. It's more samey. But what it is, I like, so I don't mind it being samey. Oh, that's the end. So that was cute. That was cute. I definitely prefer the first one by far. This compared to Universal, not sure. I think at the moment I'm thinking I prefer Universal to this, but that might just be because I know Universal more. Like off initial listen though, the first one I was immediately like, yeah, I like this more than Universal. This one, I'm not so sure. I think I like Universal more, but that's probably just because I know it more. We'll have to see down the line. That being said, big fan of both songs. <laughs> big fan of both songs. I like them both. Like I've said, first one definitely prefer, which is initially, it's a sad male ballad. I was always going to prefer it. The second one though, 
really liked it too. Like, at least an 8.5 out of 10, I'd say. I think Universal for me is a 9 out of 10. Uh, the first song, 10 out of 10. Amazing. I, I honestly... I have not had that strong of a first reaction to a song for a very, very long time. <laughs> really high praise for the her song. Second song I also really like. Again, very in my music taste. Both of these songs slot perfectly into my music taste and what I love. And paired with the fact that I really love his voice, the way these have been produced, just everything about them. I'm assuming as well, I didn't mention it because I hadn't actually searched it, but I'm assuming the second song is about memories. Memoria sounds like something like that. Something to do with memories. I don't know the literal translation, but that, that is just what I assumed based off the word. I hope I'm right in that assumption. Tell me in the comments down below if you know anything about either of the song and what they're about and what they translate to, let me know because I really, really want to know. So yeah, that is my first reaction to these songs. Obviously, these songs will probably grow on me, grow off me, who knows. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with my opinions on these songs and my opinions of 2021 as a whole. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and a comment. Like I said at the start of the video, it really, really helps us out and really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing if you're new here. That being said, thank you so, so much for watching. Our Twitter is linked in the description down below if you want to follow us on Twitter. We also have a Discord community if you want to join the Discord community. Also in the description you'll find all of my links, so my Twitter, my YouTube, my Twitch channel where I stream regularly. You can also check out our channel for other reactions and other content from the 2021 season of Eurovision. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!